Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is the only standard for truth. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is September the 22nd in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, I would say if you're not aware of what's about to take place in the next couple of days, you've probably been sleeping under a rock. Because as you know, the Jewish New Year known as Rosh Hashanah has begun and September 23rd is very significant. Now, we don't have time in this video to go into all the details that seem to be so coincidental and yet are lining up in so many ways that it eliminates any coincidence. And so something very significant will take place surely on September 23rd. But what that is, is yet unknown. Now, many are leading and saying that this is going to be the rapture. Now, we have determined according to our studies from Luke 21, Mark 13, Revelation chapter 6, and Matthew 24, that the people of God are going to be here for a portion of the tribulation. So it would seem that would eliminate the rapture, but that's what I want to talk to you about today. Before we do, I want to encourage you to go to our YouTube ministry website and look for the video titled September 23rd, 2017, and watch it. Because if you don't watch it, you're missing something that you truly need to see, you truly need to be aware of. You need to see how all these things are aligning, and they're not coincidental, friends. There's something that's taking place that hasn't taken place for 6,000 years. So watch the video. It's only 19 minutes long. I know that you'll be blessed and you will be intrigued by what you see. But our text this morning is going to be found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and I want to look at verse 16. But I want to pick up in verse 15 because here's the significant part. There is a strong possibility that the rapture could take place on September 23rd. The question is, how do we see the rapture? Well, let's look at these two verses and get a better understanding. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain, those who are alive on earth, unto the coming of the Lord, will not prevent those who are already dead, who are already asleep in the grave. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now when we read this, we move quickly from the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall rise to meet them in the air. But I just want to pose this question. Could there be a time gap between the dead in Christ rising and those who are alive and remain? Because what if on September 23rd, all those who have already passed are in the grave awaiting the return of the Lord? What if they were to be raptured and yet the people of God remain throughout a portion of the tribu tribulation to evangelize this earth and then we will be caught to meet the Lord in the air. We will be caught up with them. And so could it read like this? The dead in Christ shall rise first. And after a period of time, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Now, I certainly don't want to add to anything that the word says, and I don't want to take away anything that the word says. But I think that this is a very plausible consideration because there's nothing telling us that this is going to be an immediate process. There's nothing that indicates that we will immediately follow those who are dead in a lot, uh, those who are dead in the grave and will be caught up to meet the Lord. And so the question is, 
is, is there a possibility this could take place? Well, I, I only pose this question because I want to warn you that anyone who thinks they have the end times figured out, they don't, and you should run from them. However, we should be open to any consideration. Is there a possibility that we could be raptured on the 23rd? Yes. Is there a possibility that the people of God will not go through the tribulation? Yes. But is there a possibility that the people of God will go through the tribulation? Yes. Either a portion or all seven years. So all things are possible. None of us have it figured out. Jesus himself said he didn't know. And so I say this due to the fact that no matter what happens, if we all wake up on Monday morning and we're still here, hallelujah. If we all are raptured on the 23rd, hallelujah. We're not going to quabble over who was right and who was wrong at that point. But my fear is many are going to wake up after the 23rd on the 24th and they are going to be greatly disappointed. They're going to feel defeated in their spirits because their trust is in the rapture, not in the Lord Jesus. And friends, I don't want you to be one of those. I want your trust to be in the Lord Jesus. When you wake up on Sunday morning, you should feel just alive in the spirit. You should feel just as much appreciation and thanks you should feel a desire to give him praise and glory just as much as you do today if you're anticipating that the rapture is going to take place on the 23rd. Because there's a very strong likelihood that many are going to be disappointed. And for this very reason, Jesus said, when you think I'm not coming back, when you are not expecting me, that's when I'll come. Well, millions of people are expecting him. So it seems to me that there's a very strong indication that we're going to go through the 23rd just like a normal day. Something significant will happen. It may be something that happens on that day and we don't see the result of it for maybe months or years to come. But something very significant is going to take place on that day. And if you watch the video I told you about, titled September 23rd, 2017, you're going to understand what I'm saying. Because we are approaching, or even now in, a Jewish New Year, and this is a jubilee, a year of jubilee, the 50th. And every 50 years, something very significant happens on behalf of God's people, and history proves this. So let me end by saying this, in all things, let Jesus be glorified. And no matter what happens, if your faith and trust is in the Lord Jesus and you're living for him each and every day, does it really matter when he's coming back? Of course not. Well, friends, I love you. I pray that you've been blessed through this. I pray that you've been challenged by this. And I certainly, again, for the last time, want to encourage you to go and watch this video entitled September 23rd, 2017, because you will be intrigued by what you see. And all the things that point to this date are just way too coincidental to be a coincidence. Well, now, as Yahweh wills, and until next time, friends, I truly love you, and I'll see you on the next video.